well, that was easy enough. I, I just I walked up. There was a gentleman sitting beside me in the car. You see the car right there behind? This, uh, he was standing out there. He wanted to know if I wanted a taxi. Which is uh, Milky Tea and then Chapati. Tomorrow I'm heading off to uh, the Kentucky Gold Bridge. I have a private taxi booked for 8 o'clock in the morning. This is paneer masala dosa. The sauce is here. And there's my mango assi. Morning everyone, this is the first morning that I gave my stay in Pokhara. There's the Mountain House Hotel. I'm staying at, it's not bad. It's like a two star, but it's uh, economy and has all you need, Wi-Fi, ensuite bathroom, which is right, you know. It's overcast right now because it was absolutely raining yesterday, like crazy. So today what I'm going to do is going to walk around the village a bit more, uh, find out about for tomorrow, um, try to see if I can get up to the uh, Gandaki uh, Golden Bridge. Uh, I looked online, it's about an hour and 40 minutes car ride. Um, so we're going to try to see if there's any tours available or I can get a taxi or is there buses that I can go up there and then back and then I might stay here at this place for another two days because I think we can get up there and back in the same day. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Stay with me and we'll find out what gets on. Well, that was easy enough. I, I just I walked up, there was a gentleman sitting beside me in the car. You see the car right there behind? This, uh, he was standing out there, he wanted to know if I wanted a taxi. And I said, not today, but tomorrow. So, his, uh, Naren is his name. Um, so, I asked him how much to go to Gandaki Golden Bridge. I'll shoot the video and then come back. And he quoted me 6,000 rupees, which is quite frankly, it's a lot uh, cheaper than I thought it was gonna be, uh, be because I was thought it was gonna be about, you know, I was looking at 50 euros or $50 American. Um, so, which, yeah, I'm happy enough with that. That's a good price, 6,000. Um, now we'll just uh, go around, walk, and get something to eat. See what I find a place that's nummy on the main street. Okay, so I found a breakfast. It's just a tiny coffee shop. Located just off the main street. So I'm gonna have a, a chia, which is a milky tea, and then chapati. They didn't have the cell roti, so we're gonna give this a shout and see what that tastes like. It's a little dry. Use the little dips that they have. The uh, chickpea, uh, chickpea dips would be good with it. Or nuts. It's all right. Fill the, fill the gap. Just had it from this place here. Uh, I think they overcharged me. Uh, didn't give me the local price because it was 100 rupees for the tea with the chapati, which is basically a pita bread that was heated up. Um, yeah. Uh, definitely taking a mickey about that I think you know back in Kathmandu two cell rotis and uh, tea chia was you know about 60 60 rupees um, so anyways there's a tourist little spot and that place looks like it needs all the help I was there man came in looking for alms so I gave him like I don't know grabbed I don't know, 15 rupees or something like comes He's dressed up with uh, an all red garb with a uh, little trident and a little bucket and then asking for arms. So. Um, now I'm going to walk around. It's absolutely raining here, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to squeak into an air place because uh, your man is still hungry and I need some more nutrition. So we'll try to get more traditional breakfast maybe. Well, it's uh, pissing down rain outside. I walked about five shops down and I kept a little coffee shop here. Turkey beans. 
Um, and I ordered a banana lassie. We'll give that a shot. I've had a sweet lassie, but I haven't had a banana lassie. So, they're usually uh, tasty. I'll let you know once it gets here. Okay, so here's the banana lassie. Okay. <clears throat> now we're gonna give it a shot. See what it's like compared to the sweet lassie I had at the Monkey Temple. Very good. It's like a banana milkshake, basically. Yeah, banana milkshake. So. And this, I think it's 240 rupees, which is basically one euro eighty. There you go. Your man has just accomplished the banana lassi. Very good. That does fill you up too. It's a, it's a value for your money. No complaints there. First time I had banana lassi and a uh, thumbs up. Mick approves. And uh, Dale Phillips will be glad to know that they actually use plastic straws here. Just walking down the street, it's raining a bit, but it's not too, too bad. Like, it's not wet. Like, look at the poor buggers carrying the bricks. Go in there, load it in the basket, and then they have to carry it up. Where are you going? Hello. Going up the stairs, that's it. Here's where we go. To visitor center. We're not doing any tricks. I think my tricks are done here for Nepal this time. But I will will be coming back, I think, eventually. Hopefully. So much to see. Just make our way towards somewhere and chill out. We'll probably, uh, because of the weather and that, go for a short walk today. Um, and then I'll head in to do some editing. Um, I have to do a lot of editing. And then delivering all the milk. Um, yeah, I'll probably end up going. There's a Himalayan Java coffee. Might get a coffee later, we'll see. And then I'll go do some editing. I don't know what I'll show today. Um, on the vlogs and that might mix it in with something else and maybe a prequel for tomorrow uh, Tomorrow's I think will be it's one of its own So this might be just a and there's another one of those the burger house and crunchy fried chicken Remember we saw that at the first uh, Video when we we're arriving at the airport at the international airport. They had one So I'm gonna sign off for now In this place rolling stones rock bar banging on since 2017 I'm just look at the murals inside. Just caught my eye. It's Homer. And with the prayer flags all going down to it. Pretty cool. Just jumped out at me. See what it takes us. I just cut the murals and the paints on the side of the wall. Looks pretty cool. And that goes back to here. But look at it. Let's see if we get a little closer. Cool. And Jumped into uh, KFC for um, okay, four hundred. And 68 rupees and 14 cents so that would be about three euros and I got a water it's 30 cents but this is something different I haven't tried before I'm give it a shot 
This is something I've never seen. It's basically a chicken burger, but there's no buns. There, the, the actual burger itself is made up by two chicken pieces with the filling in the inside. Shot to see what it's like. See if it's spicy or what they have it. I'm gonna cool down a little bit. And see what it's like. Now, give it a shot. Now there's music playing in the background, so I'll probably have to edit this. But I'll give it a one bite there, and then we'll head back and let you know what it tastes like. A little hard to eat, but it's tasty, and it has a little kick to it, which you would expect being in Asia. So, thumbs up. I'm gonna finish this, and I'm gonna head for a pint. Well, well earned pint. After editing the third vlog today, well, there we go. So that's it done. Done and dusted. Very good. And I just figured out when I was finished eating. If you look at the box, you can cut off the halfway through, leave the sandwich in, and then eat it that way. That'd make it a lot easier. But that's basically my lunch for today. Um, something to look forward to if you're ever in KFC and you want those uh, bunless uh, burger chicken burgers. When you walk along the lakeside, there's another <clears throat> direction you can take, and then it opens up these ponds. It's a fishery lake. <clears throat> um, it's hatchery. There's all fish in here, and they're trying to grow different types of fish. And there's several ponds. It's a little bit different. So I went along the lakeside the other day, when you turn right, that's where they had all the little the, the bars and restaurants and that. But if you turn left, where you see the boats, and this will bring you to this part. So you still have a few of the, uh, see, look at even there, there's some more, looks like uh, fish ponds in there on the uh, wharf. They're trying to do research in that because it's at it a fishery research center. So there's lots of one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, but eight of them here and then some out in the water. And it's really, really nice out here. Hopefully, the weather stays away. Last night when I ate dinner, I got actually grounded. Hopefully I don't do it again. This looks like it's been damaged or something. Looks like it was another one. Like trying to keep them in or something. With the netting. There's even more down there, so more than the eight. And then they have residences inside there, so they're the ones that are looking after it and have keeping it. And there was a security guard right at the entrance on that side, and I bet you there's one on this side as well, taking care of it. And we're coming to the end there. Maybe we'll get a drink first, and then head to, um, Get some dinner, call it a night, get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's a busy day. We're heading up to uh, Baglung for the Gandaki Golden Bridge. So we're looking forward to that. See your man up ahead with the uh, cotton candy or candy floss and then balloons. Neither of which entices me. I'm pretty, uh, pretty uh, spent out with all the. Uh, Souvenirs, I think I got everything for everyone and even a little bit extra and stuff, so we're just heading in. This is what it looks like at evening time. There's a white band over here. You made me so light, over there. And stuff, selling it.
waterfront, you see all the little stalls and place that people are selling different stuff. And they have uh, all sorts of offerings and that, and there's music and food and panapuri and and then chapati and everything. So, although right now it's starting to rain a bit. So I'm going to make my way home, head to uh, the hotel, and we'll uh, maybe on the way I might get something quick to eat to bring back and have an early night because tomorrow we're heading off to Bagnok. I just left the uh, lake district. We're walking up. Look at all the bikes here and the lights and all the shops. <clears throat> These are all just little vendors selling food and that on your way up as you leave the lakeside. It's a very popular night for a site for locals. Like a lot of Nepali are heading out there with their partners or kids and girlfriends and stuff. So they walk along the lake, get something to eat. Some of them buy the candy floss, some buy the balloons. And then, yeah. Back. So I'm on my way walking back trying to find a place. We came into this uh, this restaurant. It's a uh, Moari Sitara 100% vegetarian menu. It's in the lakeside area. And what really caught me was I think I'm going to go for the, uh, the dosa. I haven't had one yet. And I've seen a lot of people have it, so I am going to probably partake in the um, Paneer Masala Dosa 350, and then I'll have my uh, uh, Mango Asi. So I'm gonna, yeah. There we go. Give that a try. Okay, so here we have the. Uh, it's a Paneer. The salad dosa. The sauce is here. And there's my mango assi. So I'm gonna make a shot at it. And I'll let you know how it went. Okay, so that's it done and dusted. The uh, paneer masala dosa. Very good. Very, very, very good. And also the um, mango assi was the next one as well. So this is the place I had the dinner. Aradi. Very good. That so the uh, the dosa with the uh, with the lassi was five fifty, which is about you know, three euros something, four euros. I'll put it up in the uh, in the link right here, but it was very well worth it. I'll give a small tip, uh, and the food they have an amazing brands of different stuff. So I'll definitely go back there again if I have a chance tomorrow. Like. Well worth it.